Hello, my name is Robert Gross, and today we're going to be talking about the history of transportation. Uh, for sources, I use Howard Mingo's Up in Air. Uh, have you ever paid attention closely or from far to how rapidly and dramatically our transportation has changed just in the last 20 years? <coughs> uh, I'm going to push it back as far as society has existed. Uh, we're going to start with, because <coughs> since then time we've had, we started out walking, we had horses, including like horse and buggy, chariots, all that kind of stuff. We had bicycles, cars, planes, trains, we've had boats, we have motorcycles, all kinds of stuff now. Um, Cars and ho horse and buggies and cars have played a huge role in transportation just on a day to day basis. Uh, we started out walking, but uh, we moved into uh, horses and stuff like that pretty quickly because most people don't want to just walk everywhere. Um, so if you could afford it, you had a horse and a buggy if it was possible, or you built your own buggy. Um, that would help you if you wanted to move, you just throw in the buggy and haul it off. Um, over time, people have grown to be more and more lazy, and have done thing <coughs> have produced bicycles, which uh, they called them the like the legless horse or something like that. Um, obviously, no motor; they just pedal like you do a bicycle today. Um, Years go by, they produce motorcycles, which, yeah, I mean, lots of people ride motorcycles still, so obviously they were pretty good, pretty good thing to design. Um, then we went into cars. In the last 10 years, cars and trucks have changed drastically. Just in 10 years, we, we've gone from the eight, 10 years ago, we, 10, 15 years ago, they would have still had carbureted motors, which would have been air injected, versus now we have electric, all full battery operated everything. Uh, we also, it, probably five years ago, maybe even further back, about eight, or, eight to nine years ago, we produced fuel injection, which would have been the whole car is computerized. Everything about a car is computerized nowadays. And, uh, that's good and bad. Computer system fails two grand to fix it. That's that's the crazy part. But anyway. Uh, the air conditioning. Our our transportation is air conditioned now. It's got radios. Some people have TVs. It's crazy. Like heated seats. Everything is about comfort and luxury. Uh, <coughs> compared to Back riding horses, I mean, that's that's a big change in a few hundred years. Uh, when the country was founded, everything came over here on boats. Obviously, because it carried over on the Mayflower and all that. Uh, boats then versus boats now. Boats then are going to be more wooden, hand-carved, and bowed wood and sails, no motors. This was way before motors were ever invented. Uh, boats now are going to be more leather seat, no, not leather, more of a vinyl seat and uh, motors and a steering wheel. It's not going to be sailed boats. That's, that's way too long ago. Um, <coughs> another transportation form of transportation that was produced but just a little bit after the I mean, maybe it's a few years after the revolution, uh, trains. We had we started with steam trains. So they look similar to one like this, um, and we've developed into a diesel train. Well, we developed from steam to coal. Coal was very nasty to burn, but the steam didn't produce enough power, so they moved to coal. Uh, now we've moved into diesel. It's better on the fuel economy of the train. 
and it gives it a lot more power. They produce they have to pro they produce more power and are able to pull heavier things and travel them across country, like freight. Um, these were used a lot in the war, to tra in civil war stuff like that to transport transport uh, materials such as ammunition, other things like that. Um, more recently, I don't know. It's I mean it's been several, probably forty years or so. Uh, we've had actually it's been longer than that. Uh, we've had planes. Uh, the first plane was developed by the Wright brothers. It, really doesn't look like a plane, so one seater, you got the original version, they actually had to lay down to fly in, uh, but they've obviously come a long way and we're into passenger jets now that are moving four or five hundred miles an hour, well, about three hundred miles an hour in a passenger jet, but they've come to fighter jets, they're moving about breaking sound barriers, it's crazy. Uh, we've developed autopilot, all kinds of things, it's just, it's insane how fast our, uh, our system has developed. Uh, transportation has come a very long way since uh, the beginning of this country alone. And uh, it's going to continue and continue, continue for years to come to advance and advance. And eventually, uh, one day, you never know, we may be running around in flying cars. Uh, thank you.